What's going on everybody? Sammy Hudson here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my $4,750 truck, what all I've done to it, what I had to do to it, and start it up to see what it's like to own such a cheap truck compared to everyone else's nowadays. Because nowadays, we're looking at $100,000 trucks. This is like nothing. Just wanna let y'all know, before we get into this video, I actually am coming out with another channel. It's called Sammy is Hudson. It is already a channel. If you can find it, I actually will have the link in the description. You should definitely go subscribe to it because all my shorts are gonna be on there. I'm not sure in, in the future, maybe it'll be a electronic channel or something that I get into. I'm not sure yet. Right now though, we're just gonna post shorts on it. The main reason is because I got a, uh, it was a fake strike. I got a strike and i posted a short about this truck they gave me a strike then i appealed it they said they're sorry they don't know why it happened but uh i don't want to get strikes on this channel so what i'm doing is i'm making a new channel definitely go subscribe to it and check it out let's show you this four thousand seven hundred and fifty dollar truck i could just say 4750 it's so much it's so much easier <laughs> As that little montage showed y'all a little bit now let's show you all the rest so I did install this 45 gallon tank with the pump I've showed that in a short before but that pump works so good I did get me this the, the uh, wheel off of under the truck and put me a spare on it it does have a gooseneck deal I don't have it hooked up because it was rattling it didn't need them but I went ahead and put tail lights I put this stuff on here just to protect my bed I really like the uh, tailgate design it's pretty sweet i did buy this truck from the original owner and that's why this thing's so nice <clears throat> so as you can see i installed these cup holders because we had a problem with our drinks falling i did put that dash cover on there as well as the steering wheel cover the steering wheel wasn't bad i just went ahead and put it on put some floorboards in here they're very nice floorboards how many miles we got on her i bought her with 177 and the AC off and uh, she's only got hundred and eighty three thousand miles ain't too bad for one of these when I say that's not too bad I mean that's not too bad there's one on the internet with 1.3 million miles 1.3 million miles that's that's a lot of miles let's uh let's show you this engine here she is I did take off the little cover because it was uh, rattling pretty bad cold air intake or whatever K and N, not the best kit ever. It it was missing some parts and some of the things just don't make sense about it. I need to clean that filter pretty soon. But you know it looks like a 7.3. It's a clean one though. This truck definitely drives pretty smooth. It's way smoother than my dad's um, 4x4. He's got the same truck. But uh, he'd probably say otherwise. But to me, this truck's a lot smoother. It is a little bit longer, so that's probably why. Yeah, guys, if I was you and uh, you want a cheaper truck, or you just don't got the money for a $100,000 truck, I definitely suggest going on Facebook and try and find you one of these. If you can, get one like from an original owner, or it, it, maybe the family or something, because this guy went on his first date in this truck with his wife, which, that's crazy, but... He did. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of this video. There's not much you can, I mean, there's a lot here, but there's not much I can say. We're going to start this thing up real quick, and then we'll end the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, enjoy this startup. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry about the smell. 
Yeah, she sounds like a very healthy 7-3. I did cut off the muffler, and that's why she sounds so epic. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I'll see you on the next one.